Get no, it's, it froze for a second. You're good. Hello, I'm <laughs> Rosanna. I am the ATRC service coordinator. We forgot. Woo, check out. <laughs> okay. Check out Tuesday. Yes, check out Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And today you wanted to talk about a little bit of updates on Tech Owl. Well, basically, I want to bring to the audience <clears throat> um, and also to the people that I serve out in my counties, in the borough, the people that borrows um, all the time. As of 425, 2022, we are going back to um, where it was a nine week we can borrow. We're back down to five weeks um, that we're able to borrow the device. And the reason for that is because it's a lot of people on the waiting list. And on that waiting list is so long of individuals that need to borrow equipment, devices, gadgets. Um, for an example, one of my IU5s um, stated to me that they'll wait to borrow next year, which the next year is going into sep September. Mm -hmm. They'll borrow early. And the reason for that is because they were fifth on the list to borrow. By that time, everybody's on summer break. Right, yeah. So what I'm going to do for them is to let them know that the parents can borrow. Um, a lot of the consultants, um, teachers that borrow from our IU5, that's around here in our area, the Erie area, and also Mercer area, uh, Crawford County area. Um, I'm gonna send out a letter to let the consultants and the teachers know that that information can be shared with the parents in hope that the parents would be able to receive the items and also get the items back and it's so easy because UPS does everything for you. Mm -hmm. um, they let me know when it's going to be delivered. I call and say to the recipient that your item is going to, your item or device or gadget is going to be delivered. When it's time for pickup, the pickup is already inside the box of the time that you can use, how long you can use the device, gadget, or um, equipment. Um, I normally follow up a week before to give you a reminder um, that the items need to be picked up or if you would like to see if you can continue to borrow. And right now I'm seeing that um, the reason for the five weeks is because um, they needed to shorten um, the Linden Library's waiting list and to give other consumers, service providers, the opportunity to trial the equipment. So um, if anyone have questions, they can call me about the ATL loan periods. Um, I will be very happy to go over that. Um, I just don't wanna hear, oh, I'll wait until next year, then I kinda like, oh, wow. You know, got to wait until next year just to try it out, where hopefully their parents would say, okay, I'll, I'll try out the device, mm -hmm. you know, um, for, you know, their, their child or youth or young adult, you know, with um, the devices. Um, again, Tech All, our Linden Library is the tools that help people. So remember, with the Linden Library, they have not just um, gadgets for school, they have gadgets for assistant living. Mm -hmm. And I think you and I, we're gonna go back to that mm -hmm. since we're now live, um, Facebook Live now. Um, anyone that have questions can jump on when they wanna jump on, which, which is nice. Um, and then also, I'm not, I don't, don't want to get too much into um, the TDDP stuff because I think you and I we have done mm -hmm. a lot of that unless we get a new device in or someone recommend that they would like to see 
um, a TDDP um, device from that unit, okay? Um, also, I want to say with our Connect with Tech at TechO, it's going great. So I want to thank everyone that applied for a free tablet. Um, thank you. Um, if you know of anyone mm -hmm. else with a disability that, that lives in PA, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. um, to please reach out to me so that I can help with the application online or I can mail the application out to you. Um, the person must have a limited um, income and also um, be a person with a disability. And again, live in PA. <laughs> and live in PA, yes. Live in PA. So this is all that we wanted to bring to you. Um, normally, we do bring a device in on Tuesday. Yay! Yay. <laughs> it's just the device that we um, put in to borrow. They're on back. Back order. <laughs> back order, too. Yeah. So hopefully with um, everyone cutting down with the, the loans, um, we can get things in here quicker and also be able to show to our audience the different devices that we're using um, here and also through um, Tecca. But also speaking of um, devices and items that you don't use anymore, we do have uh, a program that takes back um, walkers, crutches, anything that you don't use but you think somebody else could benefit from it. Um, loan program, reuse yeah, equipment loan yeah. program. <laughs> ah, I got no, tongue no, twisted. No, it's, it's the same. Yeah. It's the use equipment exchange. Use equipment exchange. So it's anything you, you don't need or don't use anymore, right. but want to help somebody else who's in need, go right. ahead and give it to us and we'll help them in return. If you don't have, like if you have things that you haven't used in years, somebody else could probably use it. And that would be very, very nice. Um, please don't put the equipment outside near the garbage can. Oh, yeah, please don't. And it's in good condition, mint mm -hmm. condition. Please clean it. Um, please sanitize it and then uh, well, give it to us. Well, so. even if you can't do all that, just drop it off to us. We'll try we'll, to sanitize it. We'll, <laughs> we'll do all that big but stuff for you. But if you can do it, you but can if just you can drop do it, it that, that yeah. would be helpful too. So, yeah, so let's not forget about our used equipment exchange mm -hmm. um, program so that we can. Um, continue to serve our community um, who do not have the insurance. Well, insurance don't cover these nice things anymore. Um, Got to pay out of pocket now. Um, trainings, if anyone wants transition training, I'm available. I just completed one with VFI and that I had a good time um, with um, the transition. Um, the people that was on um, Zoom, they asked questions, and they're still asking questions. Um, one that came in, um, their consumer likes to cook, but they would like to know more about the different gadgets to go on the stove. Oh my gosh. There is this chopping one. You can chop things. <laughs> There's, uh, oh, I will look into that for you. I'm all about cooking. So, yeah, I'm trying to find things that will help me cook better or help me cut down the process and not take so long with the process right. of cooking and right. chopping. <laughs> right. So, yes, that would honestly be good. So, I was, I was very happy to get that um, information and assistance uh, with that. And... Um, the person also said that they would share my information with other agencies. Nice. So that was a good thing, too. So I enjoyed um, VFI and, and their transition um, program, nursing home transition program, with Ms. Danielle. Um, I think it's Ms. Daniella, or I've been calling her Ms. <laughs> Danielle. Um, very nice lady. Um, she had 13 of her staff people on, and everybody was wanting to know about the lending library. And some wanted refreshers. Um, they thought the program had stopped. So it was very nice for her to reach out to say, hey, Rose, will, you know, can you do a, a training? 
So I'm hoping that more um, service providers, um, even if it's for educational training, too, I would be very happy to do that. Um, presentations, um, would be happy to give you an overview of the lending library and also um, everything that's under TECA, which is the lending library. Um, TDDP program, I can connect um, program and um, connect with tech uh, program demonstrations on different um, equipment. Um, I'm hoping soon I will be able to do more of that, but with the pandemic, I am very limited um, to individuals coming in the office. Um, I'd rather do it as a uh, group thing so that we can compare um, how the devices work, you know, if they work similar or not, or what's easier, mm. um, that would be nice too as well. Now, another thing I, I want to bring to the audience, connect with tech. Um, I'm going to get back to everyone within probably another two to three weeks. I'm hoping that Maria and I and someone from um, tech how um, their connect with tech support person can be on a zoom with us to show individuals how to work their tablets hands-on hands-on step yes. by step make um, sure you're there <laughs> we have been getting calls they love their tablets mm -hmm. but it's just that they only been able to set up their email address and their password uh, um, they want to download things mm -hmm. on their music, which is easy for me because I'm always playing around with mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to also um, see um, and check with the support person uh, with Connect With Tech. He is a very, very busy person and I give a lot to him. I don't like using that word kudos or yay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to check and see if he would be able to, to um, get on a um, live um, Zoom with us um, to help some people with setting up their, their tablets that's been having more questions than how to set up your email and your password. So I will be bringing that to you soon. Uh, Maria is going to help me with that, so I do appreciate her as well with helping me with it. Mm -hmm. um, if anyone have questions, please let me know about how can you get the Connect With Tech free tablet. Um, please um, give us a call here at Community Resources for Independence. And just ask for Rosanna, and I'll help you out. I was all like, kick <laughs> you. Uh. And you can ask for Maria. Too. Yeah. <laughs> She'll give me the message. Yes, I'll just take out information and pass it on to Rose. Right. <clears throat> and she's been good at that. I, I think I got like three referrals from her from an autism program mm -hmm. um, coordinator. Um, you know, with the autism program, I think we did have one of our supports person two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and the uh, Connect with Tech is a tablet, so um, that is a free tablet. So that is something that their consumers, her consumers were able to benefit from. And I think we got three from her. Mm -hmm. Yes, so don't hesitate, don't be scared, just give me the basic information um, about yourself and I'll be very happy to do your application online. So call me. <laughs> all right. I think that's all for today. Um, hopefully we will have more items next week. And we're just waiting on things to come to us. It's, it's a process. <laughs> uh, well, it's good that people are borrowing. Yeah. It's just that the nine weeks, we were mm -hmm. like, nine weeks we just felt that people would, would borrow. With the four, it was four weeks and we wasn't getting that many people, with, you know, to borrow. When we went to the nine weeks, it just went nicely, but mm -hmm. it just seemed like it took wait, forever. It took forever <laughs> to get it back. Cause, well, which yeah. is good because they had nine weeks, but now it's like, well, there's more people who right. need to try it out now. Right. So, 
So I thank right. everyone. Uh, please continue to reach out to me. Appreciate everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> All right, I can't wait for...